Oke. Okay. Let's take it. tried not to get caught up in any of the mystical attempts at attacking pieces too early and having a bad position on the board with the king attacking the knight so that's all good stuff let's um, pin through to the queen so in my heart of hearts I'm thinking he's slightly overextended with his own pieces I'm actually going to take the knight keep it simple so it looks a bit scattered for the opponent as far as I can see. Let's just bring the knight here attacking the bishop. So we take the pawn. That makes sense to me. Attacking the queen, attacking the pawn here with a threat of attacking the rook as well. So we can assume the bishop will probably just take the knight because that's losing too much material so it was like a scattergun approach the opponent made just then with his pieces it's not to say we've won it's just if you have a look at the position now he's um, going to protect with his queen so that's um that's not too bad he's also attacking the knight twice so we can come back and attack the, um, the bishop. So I think we've got our pieces working quite nicely together as a team. Our opponent is uh, still in the scattergun stage of, well, how do I get my pieces working together? I've not even castled. I've got this knight stuck on the back here. Poor Rook is not in the game. So those are the negatives from doing a scattergun approach. It looks good, you know, it's forceful pushing out, but it's I think it's better potentially just working your pieces together and just take this uh, bishop for free might not be for free might have worked something out well, on a dark square this bishop will be quite nice sat here facing the queen that would be a good plan but it needs a supporting mechanism such as this pawn so it's moved the queen out of the king out of the way because of that potential threat but he's actually left this bishop here for free. So again, with the scattergun approach, it's quite difficult to gather your thoughts back. And it looks like the opponent has left the game, so we'll claim victory on that. So yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's quite difficult sometimes once you've made not errors because the opponent didn't make any errors the, the attack was really quite strong we'll have a look at the analysis here but I have seen quite a lot of um, players play like this because um, I'm all constantly researching looking at games watching games and so the Knights come out the bishops out it's attacking and then the bishops out it's attacked the pawn so it looks good it looks really strong so then the continuum with the pawn pushing forward but is there any real supporting mechanisms going on? Are the team working together? It looks like it, the knights supporting the bishop, etc. But they've not castled, they've not developed their other minor piece, so the pieces genuinely aren't working together as best as what you could do for your team and especially for your king. So we've come through just to attack nice and steadily, but we're looking at what the opponent is doing. So the scattergun approach again is brought the pawn down looking to support the bishop but realistically maybe the bishop needed to move to you know get his pieces working together sort of unraveling the original attack that took place and that's a key thing about being able to unravel what you're attempting to do not saying I do it all the time it's just something I've observed, I've observed. it's being able to swap and change immediately so that then you're gaining advantages so we grabbed and again yeah the queen came back and had like a two-on-one attack here 
but their king isn't saved so they've gone rushing to get their king saved and as we mentioned the bishop potentially had the pin through to the queen but it wasn't there yet it was a few moves away from ever uh, materializing and i think they wasted a move by moving the king which is good for us but moving the king having that fear factor of potentially the bishop putting the pin through lost them another minor piece so you have to be mindful about how you're going about your potential attacks and development of your pieces so that you're actually working your pieces together and attacking key spaces key areas and key pieces so that we basically you're you're feeling more advantageous in your movements going forward